Calling together a meeting of the Public Facilities Commission. Before us today is the Department of Neighborhood Development. Good morning, Commissioners. The first order of business today is the approval of the meeting minutes from the prior meeting, which took place on January 16th, 2019. There are meeting minutes for the Public Facilities Department and separate meeting minutes for the Department of Neighborhood Development. Is there a motion to approve the meeting minutes from January 16th, 2019 for PFD and D&D? I make a motion to approve. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. The meeting minutes are hereby approved. Beginning this morning with the Department of Neighborhood Development, we have four votes being presented today. The first vote begins with Shawnee Fletcher. She's a development officer for the Real Estate Management and Sales Division of D&D. Vote number one concerns a conveyance to Boston Food Forest Coalition Incorporated. The matter concerns vacant land located at 101 and 103 Ellington Street in Dorchester. The purchase price is $200. Shawnee, if you'd present your vote request, please. Good morning, Commissioners. It's good to be before you for the first time. Good morning. Uh, my name is Shawnee Fletcher. I'm a development officer in the REMS Division of the Department of Neighborhood Development. I am here requesting PFC approval for the conveyance to Boston Food Forest Coalition, hereafter referred to as BFFC, for the parcels identified in the vote package in the Dorchester neighborhood of Boston. This matter was last before you in April of 2018 when PFC voted to approve the tentative developer designation of BFFC. To refresh the Commission's memory, DND conducted a public process that led to that vote and this subsequent request. Several community meetings were held by BFFC in 2016 to discuss transforming the existing Gorilla Garden into a food forest. DND hosted a community meeting in January 2017. Community support for the project was strong and DND moved toward an RFP. The RFP was issued in January of 2018 and was advertised in the State Central Register and Boston Herald. One proposal was received in response to the RFP and was determined to meet the eligibility criteria. PFC approved the designation of Boston Food Forest Coalition on April 11, 2018, and the designation was advertised in the city record on May 14 and May 21 of 2018. Since designation, BFFC has held additional community engagement activities, including community work days to plant and continue building the garden, raised funds to support complete development of the property, initiated the final permitting process with the Inspectional Services Department. The vote package includes a comprehensive memo about the project and PFC vote request. We have also provided handouts related to this vote request, which are displayed on the screen. This first one is a site map showing the location of the two parcels. The second is a satellite view that shows the parcel when it was beginning to be constructed. The third is a street view of the existing conditions. You can see the first part of the garden here. And the last is the final design plan. There will be a wide variety of fruit trees along the edges here and here and in the back. There's a communal permaculture gardening bed here. There's a herbal garden there and another herbal garden here and some raised beds for families in the area as well as a platform and picnic area for community use. This project has the support of the Massachusetts Audubon Society, the Trust for Public Land, Greater Four Corners Action Coalition, Codman Square Neighborhood Development Corporation, Alternatives for Community and Environment, nearby churches, and abutters and other neighbor, nearby residents. In summary, if PFC approves the vote request, it will result in the following public benefits. Return vacant property in DND's inventory for 30 years into productive use, preserve more than 6,300 square feet of land as protect, protected open space, and promote local food access. I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Any questions? No questions for me. I'd just like to applaud the um, department for your community engagement process and for your, your um, the thoughtful uh, reuse of this property. I make a motion that we approve. Um, second, all in favor, aye. Thank you, vote number one is approved. Vote number two is also presented by Shawnee Fletcher. Vote number two concerns a conveyance to Easty Farm Incorporated concerning vacant land located at 294 to 296 Sumner Street in East Boston. The purchase price is $100. Shawnee, if you'd present vote number two, please. Thank you. I'm here requesting PFC approval for the conveyance to Easty Farm Incorporated for the parcels identified in the vote package in the East Boston neighborhood of Boston. 
This matter was last before you in April of 2018 when PFC voted to approve the tentative developer designation of Eastie Farm Incorporated. To refresh the Commission's memory, DND conducted a public process that led to that vote and this subsequent request. Multiple community meetings were held by DND since 2013, including a meeting with the Jeffreys Point Neighborhood Association in late 2015 and again in early 2017. The RFP was issued in January 2018 and was advertised in the State Central Register and Boston Herald. One proposal was received in response to the RFP and was determined to meet the eligibility criteria. PFC approved the designation of Eastie Farm on April 11, 2018, and the designation was advertised in the city record on May 14 and May 21, 2018. Since designation, Eastie Farm has received a commitment from DND's grassroots program to fund their development, worked closely with the community as well as a design firm to finalize the design, initiated the final permitting process with the Inspectional Services Department, and raised funds to conduct climate resiliency education and increase food production. The vote package includes a comprehensive memo about the project and PFC vote request. We've also provided handouts related to this vote request, which are displayed on the screen. The first shows the, is a map showing the location of the parcel. There's two photos showing the existing conditions. So they've already begun gardening it. And the final design plan is the last. You'll see that there's, again, some space here for gathering and uh, a workspace. There's beds here. This farm is operated communally. The residents come and garden together and harvest together, and it's been working well since 2016. They also have a few fruit trees, Asian pears, and a persimmon tree. The project, this project has the support of the city councilor, Lydia Edwards, state representative, Adrian Madaro, state senator, Joe Boncore, Close abutters to the proposed project, additional East Boston residents, local neighborhood associations, and other community organizations, two nearby schools, and allied open space organizations in the greater Boston area. In summary, if PFC votes this vote, approves this vote request, it will result in the following public benefits. Return one vacant property in DND's inventory for 15 years to productive use, preserve 3,100 square feet of land as protected open space and promote local food access. I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Another great project. I don't have any questions. Good job. No, do I and make a motion that we approve? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Vote number two is approved. Vote number three is being presented by Shani Fletcher. This vote request concerns a tentative developer designation and intent to sell to DNI4 Incorporated. Vacant land located at an unnumbered parcel on Langdon Street, 35 Landing Street, 37 to 43 Langdon Street, 123 to 125 George Street, 127 to 133 R George Street. Each parcel is located in Roxbury. The purchase price in total is $500. Shani, if you present vote re request number three. I am here requesting PFC approval for the tentative developer designation of DNI4 Incorporated, a subsidiary of Dudley Neighbors Incorporated, a local community land trust well established within the Dudley neighborhood of Boston, hereafter referred to as DNI, for the parcels identified in the vote package in the Roxbury section of Boston. DND conducted a public process that resulted in this vote request. DND held a community meeting in March of 2018 to discuss with community members the continued agricultural use of these parcels as a community farm. Supported, support by the community and the abutters was strong. A request for proposals was issued on April 17, 2018 and advertised in the State Central Register and the Boston Herald. One development team applied to the RFP and was determined to meet the eligibility criteria. Based on community feedback and DND review of the application against the RFP evaluation criteria, we recommend the designation of DNI4 Incorporated, who proposes to hold it within its land trust and lease the property to the food project. The food project worked with the community to clean up these parcels 24 years ago and has been maintaining these parcels as a community farm ever since, and will work with DNI to continue using these parcels to increase food access for neighborhood residents. The vote package includes a comprehensive memo about the project and PFC vote request. I've also provided two handouts related to this vote request, which are displayed on the screen. The first is an aerial map showing the parcel and its location. And the second 
is a photo of the existing conditions of the farm. The food project has a field here and a field here. They farm this land with youth uh, and other volunteers and sell the food at a very low cost to the community members and have provide many donations across the city. In summary, if PFC approves the vote request, it will result in the following public benefits. This proposed development will permanently preserve and improve upon a community farm that is a tremendous asset to the neighborhood. In addition, the city will avoid paying approximately $800 a year in annual maintenance costs and return this property to productive use after more than 25 years in our inventory. I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Uh, no questions. Uh, very good job presenting. Answered all the questions I had already. Um, I make a motion that we approve. Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Vote number three is approved. Vote number four is also presented by Shawnee Fletcher. This vote request concerns a tentative developer designation and intent to sell to DNI4 Inc. vacant land located at 25 Folsom Street and 27 Folsom Street. The properties are located in Roxbury. The purchase price is $200. Shawnee, if you'd present vote request number four, please. I'm here requesting PSC approval for the tentative developer designation of DNI4 Incorporated, subsidiary of Dudley Neighbors Incorporated, a local community land trust established within the Dudley neighborhood of Boston, referred hereafter as to as DNI, for the parcels identified in the vote package in the Roxbury section of Boston. DND conducted an extensive public process that resulted in this vote request. A series of community meetings were held going back to 2016 involving several stakeholders to explore the use of this parcel to address community concerns regarding food security. Neighbors established a simple community garden which was met with strong support by abutters and the community overall. This led DND to hold a meeting in March 2018 to discuss the possibility of permanently preserving the garden and then to move an RFP forward. A request for proposals was issued on April 17, 2018 and advertised in the State Central Register and the Boston Herald. One development team applied to the RFP and was determined to meet the eligibility criteria. Based on community feedback and DND review of the application against the RFP evaluation criteria, we recommend the tentative developer designation of DNI for Incorporated. DNI's pro proposal will preserve the parcel as gardening open space and allow community residents to continue growing fresh food for themselves and their families in a neighborhood actively trying to address significant food security issues. The vote package includes a comprehensive memo about the project and PFC vote request. I have also provided four handouts related to this vote request which are displayed on the screen. The first is an aerial map of the parcel. The second is a street view of the conditions of the parcel prior to the garden committee beginning improvements and establishing the community garden. The third is a street view of the current conditions. And the fourth is a final design plan. They'll be extending the garden into the northeast corner and uh, establishing a retaining wall as well as building some more garden beds for community use. <coughs> In summary, if PFC approves the vote request, it will result in the following public benefits. This proposed development will permanently preserve and improve upon a thriving new community garden. In addition, the city will avoid approximately $4,000 in annual maintenance costs and return the property to productive use after almost 50 years in our inventory. I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. And no questions. Uh, we could probably give a speech, uh, but that's not why we're here. So I think you guys are doing a great job. and. Um, Instead, I'll make a motion to approve this request. Uh, second, all in favor? Aye. Thank you. Vote number four is approved. And by the way, good job on your first. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, Shani, thank you. Mm -hmm. The last matter that's going to be before us today is vote number five. This is a certificate of authority. This matter is being presented by Rick Wilson. He's the Deputy Director of Finance for the Department of Neighborhood Development. This is a straightforward matter that comes before the Public Facilities Commission on a routine basis when there is a new signatory who has authority to sign instruments to be filed with the Suffolk County Registry of Deeds or in the Suffolk Registry District of the Land Court. The person that's being added is Marcy Osberg. She is the Director of Operations for the Department of Neighborhood Development. 
Rick or Marcy, if you have anything that you'd like to say, um, now's an opportunity. Sure, thanks, Angela. Good morning, commissioners. I'm just uh, really excited to introduce Marcy, uh, our new D director of operations at DND. Um, for the past three and a half years, Marcy has been uh, leading our housing innovation lab for the department, developing innovative uh, uh, programs and policies to increase housing supply and housing affordability, and we're just thrilled that she's taking on this role. And she started in December. She's already been tackling uh, some, uh, some of our, uh, you know, or I guess helping to make improvements in our operations. So we're really glad to have her in this role. Is there a motion to approve vote number five as presented? I make a motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Vote number five, the certificate of authority is approved. Is there a motion to adjourn this portion of the meeting? To adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting is adjourned. <laughs>